Hi guys, Miss Rupa here, and I am coming to you with a brand new lesson this week. Our lesson this week is going to be a geography lesson. And when we say the word geography, that means we are going to talk about our planet, our Earth. And we're going to study what our Earth is made up of, because it's made up of three special things. And the reason we're talking about this, because it might seem like a very simple lesson, is because our Earth is actually one of the only planets that is made up of these three things, okay? So we need to take a look because it's important. So. I would like to start by taking a look at the Montessori globe, and this is the sandpaper globe, so it shows two very important things. But first, what colors do you see on the sandpaper globe? Hmm? If you said blue and brown, you're absolutely right. The sandpaper globe here shows the water that covers our planet. And it also shows the continents. So it shows the land, which is our continents, and it shows the water. And as you can see, our Earth is mostly made up of water, <laughs> but it does have land. And so that's what's so important about this kind of globe is that it shows the land and the water. Okay. Now, our Earth is the only planet that has the third thing, which makes Earth special, which is air. And so those three things are going to make up our lesson today. So we are talking about the topic of land, air, and water. And I have three kind of labels. So we have land, air, and water. Again, very simple lesson. But what I love about this lesson is that you can look at, one, the animals, that live in each of these environments and also different kinds of transportation. So in my jars here, I have an example of land and there's some soil and rocks in here. So thinking about it, what kind of animals would live on land? Us, we live on land. Humans are an excellent example of animals and mammals that live on land. What other animals can you think of that live on the land? There's quite a few. <laughs> All right, so land is the first one of our topics. And I'm going to scroll through because I want you guys to see this picture of the earth. So, and you can see on our earth, the difference. You can see the air, you can see the land, and you can see the water. So, thinking about animals, what would you think would live on the land? The next one would be air. Now, there is nothing in this jar, so air, an example of air would be just an empty jar. So air, what are some animals that might live in the air or might spend most of their time in the air? And if you said birds, you're right, and that's actually my favorite animal. So air is our second example or our second topic that we're learning about today. And also, number three, and if you can see it kind of swirling around, would be water. And water, mostly on our planet, is in the form of oceans. So if you were to take a look at our Montessori globe again, our sandpaper globe, you would see that oceans cover most of our planet. So very, very important. So water. Now, what animals do you think would live in the water, in our oceans? There are tons. So my challenge to you guys is make a list. Make three columns, one for air, one for land, and one for water, and put what animals you know. Now, it doesn't even stop there. We can talk about transportation, and transportation is the way that we get around, okay? So if we were to travel by land, what kinds of things do you think we would use? What do you think? Cars, bikes, motorcycles, all of those things are ways that we use transportation on the land. So that was an example of land transportation. What about water? If you have the opportunity to maybe go to the lake on the weekends, what do you usually do? You travel by boat. Boats are an excellent example of ways that we 
trans transport transportation vehicles on the water. Okay, and then lastly, air. So what are some ways that we travel by air? Airplanes, that's exactly right. Airplanes are a form of transportation that we use to travel in the air. So again, simple lesson, but there are so many extensions and so many extras that you can do. I also challenge you, if it is a nice day when you're watching this, to maybe go take a nature walk and see what you can find as far as things that live on the land, things that live in the air, things that live in the water. A nature walk is an excellent, excellent thing to do when you're, you're talking about land, air, and water. So that was our topic for today. Remember, water covers most of our earth. Land is also there. And also, we are one of the only planets that has air that we can breathe. So that is why it is very, very important that we talk about this topic. So I hope you enjoyed this quite simple lesson on land, air, and water. And I will see you guys next time.